Without the understanding of this stage, you cannot quite call yourself a freestyle master. At this point, you have a near finished cake. Consider this the icing to get you into the pro leagues. We're now going to deal with the many problems that every freestyler will face in one way or another. Lock and load gunners, it's time to troubleshoot. Let's categorize the major problems and solve them one by one. Please note that a problem can be solved in many ways, so you might need to weigh the pros and cons for each solution. For example, will this fix cause more problems or does it take too many steps to get to the solution? Let's group the common problems to troubleshoot into five main categories. Problem number one, my lines are too dense. There are three main cases. The third will be shown in stage 14, so stay tuned for that one. Situation A, you model with an array modifier or there are great distances in the composition where everything needs edge rendering. That makes lines too dense going into the distance. To solve it, use the line style's distance from camera and or object modifiers. Using curve on those as linear with linear perspective will not solve the problem. You can refer to that in the three corridor example. Situation B. Lines overtake the model in the render, making the solid shading covered by lines. To solve this, you have to lessen the edges selected for the line rendering. You should try to plan for the mesh to use the least line types possible. Almost all the examples in this course have that in mind, thus indirectly you have already been taught to do this. Problem number two. I need intersections between my meshes. Three ways to solve this, all of which involve marking edges. Solution A, separate the mesh, then edge mark it. See the hammer example for such a solution. Solution B, cut through the mesh, then edge mark it. This solution is demonstrated in the graphics card example. An extra note, after pressing K, there are options in the 3D view header. One of them is Z for cutting through the mesh. It's useful if you want to just add straight edges to make intersections. Solution C, an extra mesh for the line, then use edge type border or edge mark. Essentially, this is introducing a very thin open mesh at the intersection that only edge type border can see. But the extra mesh cannot just be an edge with no face. Freestyle cannot detect those. In other words, freestyle needs faces to detect lines. Note, when you're cutting or adding the mesh, Use the camera view to see the edges to make sure that edges don't get hidden on Z depth inaccuracy. Also, use Mesh Analysis Intersect tool to find intersecting edges. Problem three, how do I fix broken, missing, or unwanted lines? Solution A, broken or missing lines. Solution A1, this is obvious. You mark the edge on the surface and turn on edge mark. It's worth repeating, edge mark is your best friend. Solution A2, Increase the crease angle to include more angles for the crease to draw lines. Solution A3, weird line thickness at the beginning and edge of the stroke. Solve it by turning on the same object chaining. Solution A4, broken edges occur on boxy objects. Solve it by turning off chaining and turning on round cap. This is only true if you have thin lines, something like line thickness less than five pixels. Solution A5, missing edges with curve objects. The main cause is zero area faces known as degenerative triangles on curves. It is a B-mesh limitation as of the 2.6x release. Solve that with the edge split modifier. Edge split will remove those zero area faces. You can see the graphics card example for such solution. Solution A6, missing silhouette on curvy object. Solve it by turning on the smooth faces in the freestyle view map option. Another way to solve it is to turn off chaining in the stroke option. But be sure to understand that by turning off chaining, it will not cause a problem on other areas. Solution A7, don't subdivide. A mesh with less density will break less. Situation B, unwanted lines, which are generally caused with too many selections. Solution B1, select the correct edge types, which leads to solution B2, lesser edge type selected. To solve this fully, go back and watch the selection stages. Solution B3, another cause of unwanted lines is the crease angle being too big. So the solution is to lower it until the problematic lines are gone. Situation C, texture with alphas don't edge. Texture will not edge no matter how nice you make it. The reason is freestyle is geometry based. To solve this, model your geometry in the shape of the texture. 
situation D. Lines thin out in the middle of the stroke with the along stroke modifier when there is an object in front of them. This is caused by broken line chaining. Freestyle sees the line as two separate lines. To solve this, isolate the object by using render layers inside a selection group. That means that you create a new render layer, turn on only a freestyle pass, and create a new line set and new line style. This is very useful if you have something like a clear visor helmet of an astronaut and you want to edge the character inside the helmet. Situation E. Your lines stray away from the object and shoot to the stars. To infinity and beyond. This can be scary. Often as one frame of animation that won't render right, it can be caused by many factors. For example, adding a geometry modifier. But there is one general solution. Lower the sample of the sampling modifier from 10 to 5 or 2. Oftentimes that will fix the problem. Keep this in mind as you'll be using this fix for stage 13. Problem number 4. My lines flicker when they're animated. If your intention is to make flickery lines like a few of the line styles presented in stage 7, well, you can skip this one. Otherwise, pay attention. Lines flicker because freestyle doesn't have a full temporal coherence between frames. But there is one line style modifier that has temporal coherence. That's the spatial noise modifier, which will be explained in stage 13. To solve flickering lines, don't use full frames per second. Use 8 or 12 or 18 of the 24 frames per second. If the animation frames flicker at the same rate as the lines, the overall result will be okay. Just like hand-drawn animation. Problem number five, selection problem. This one can go very deep. This is basically a fundamental object selection understanding problem. The common cause is an object that has more edges on some areas of the object and less on the other part. Often the solution is to separate the mesh make a new group selection of the separated object, and a new line set and line style. Since this case only happens to a freestyle beginner, we don't have to have an example in this course. To understand better, here is a real case that we can help solve. Here we have a building. It has many stylized poles, and it has tiles on the roof, all in one object, however. When edged, the roof has too many details, making the lines too dense. Basically, the roof's lines are running into a blob of color. To solve this, the roof and the poles should be separated. When they are separated, we can assign a different line set and line style to each, which solves the blob problem, to each object by using group selection. This gives you better control of your lines. These problems are just a few that we often see artists face. They are from our personal experience and we also scout through social media and the IRC. Solutions presented here are by no means the only way to solve your freestyle problems. You can also solve them with more creative ways, and we totally encourage you to invent solutions. There is also more advanced problem solving available, but very few artists need them, hence they are not included here. In short, when you have a freestyle render problem and you can't solve it, don't hesitate to hit us up on social media for a guided troubleshooting. You might learn a thing or two, and we might too. Or if you found a problem that can't be fixed, it might just be a bug. But no rush to report it, ask the community first. When confirmed a bug, Go to the bug tracker, hit it, smash it. And now that all the troubles are shot, here are a few bonus targets to hone your marksmanship to razor sharp. Tip number one, performance enhancement with multi-render layer freestyle rendering. To do this, each layer has a small amount of objects to edge. So freestyle will load less geometry. This gives faster view map creation and stroke rendering for each layer. Then combine all the rendered strokes via the compositor. Tip number two, orthographic always renders slower than perspective, so avoid rendering an orthographic view if you don't have to. Tip number three, isolate models when test rendering. To do it, use local view by pressing numpad slash to isolate the model, then render. You can also isolate models to layers. Great shooting, Tex. Now stage 12 is finito, done. To the next stage. <laughs>